Welcome back. We are here looking at uh, ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 17, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in your corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the, the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit today. We're up for roughly uh, roughly 5% to the upside, 4.78% to the upside, and that was kind of finally. We are still significantly overstretched. We hit the rock bottom here at the Bollinger Band, and uh, we also reached the 300 moving average. So this ETF was one of the best performing ETFs in 2021. If you just look back where we bottomed in the coronavirus and back in March last year, and to the top in uh, mid-February, it rallied roughly 360%. So more than 3x, and that's an absolute amazing rally. So it became really famous, and also the, the CEO of this idea was also become really famous. And I think most of the hype that she was basically on on the news all the time, that that basically, well, that was also the main driver of this. But since mid-February until basically yesterday, where we hit rock bottom here, it fell almost 40%. So in three and a half months, it lost 40% of its value. So that is that is ridiculous. And um, and it's technically, if you just look at Tesla and look at this ETF, then it's basically just the same. It's uh, Tesla has fallen roughly the same as this ETF, as it's basically one of the uh, biggest part of this ETF. So we can see down the 300 moving average is basically uh, bottom here. And we didn't really get close to that. And now we're turning around. So... Last time we tested one of these um, moving averages above, it was a 200 moving average. We got to it and then just got completely rejected. So at this point, I think that we are going to turn around and uh, inflation news and so on. That is kind of getting a little bit old. The market has uh, already calculated that in. And yeah, there is going to be more inflation. Everybody kind of expected that's going to be inflation. But this market only care about liquidity. And as long as um, there is enough liquidity, as the money is cheap, this will just go higher, as will the market just go higher. And, uh, well, the thing with this is it is extremely risky. The companies that are in this, in this ETF are very, very risky. So when it goes well, there's a massive reward. When it goes badly, well, you can see it loses uh, nearly half of its value in three and a half months. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bearish still. The RSI is flat, and we are significantly oversold. CCI is a bearish, and so is the stochastic. We re reached the bottom of the bullish band, and that could mean that we, we would rally towards the middle of the bullish band. There's a rally of roughly 10% uh, to the upside, so roughly towards the, uh, the 200 moving average, and uh, will most likely be rejected there. If we break above that, then we could head towards the top of the range, and uh, then we would technically get well 20 27 25 percent back of this loss and um, that would kind of be a changer for this etf so let's look at vti so vti really took off today uh, rallied above the 20 expansion moving average hit the middle of the bullish band here so can't really say whether or not this is going to be the end of this this um this pullback much of this uh, generally uh, for this entire week that people have been basically been freaking out by about inflation and it has been all over the place um that is kind of baked into the market at this point so it doesn't look like people are really caring about inflation at this point and the market only care about liquidity but we are pulling back in the middle of the bullish band and i wouldn't be surprised if we pull back towards at least a 50 moving average uh, uh, before we go higher. If you look at techni technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still very bearish. The RSI is also um, is uh, kind of bullish, fairly flat. CCI is flat and stochastic is still bullish, but heading towards that signal line. Got rejected here. So at this point, I still it is a really good um, rally from the bottom and that we basically are closing above the 20 exponential is also a very good thing. If we get another closing uh, above the 20 exponential on the Monday, then then there is a very clear sign that we are going to go much higher. So let's look at uh, DVI. So 
So DBI as well rallied significantly from the bottom, roughly 118, and now we're trading at 122, roughly a value of 3.5%. We're getting very close to the top of the Bollinger Band. And um, at this point, I think that it's kind of a, a big turnaround. And I wouldn't be surprised if we retested the 1520 exponential uh, yet again. This is a horrible place to basically enter this, uh, not to do, also to the downside or to the upside. So entry would be down here when it turned around. And um, this entry for a buy here could basically, we could break down towards the 20 exponential again or even lower or we could get a higher, it's just in the middle of things. So if you look at technical English, we can see that the MACD is still bullish, the RSI is bullish, we're on approaching uh, overbought conditions yet again. CCI is bullish and the stochastic is turned around, still in negative territory and still bearish at this current stage. So pull back towards the 20 exponential that will most likely be holding as this is the where we turned around uh, the last time and have been turning around the, for several, several months. So let's look at MCHI. So as well, this also turned around. We're up to 2.15% at this current stage. We also hit rock bottom here, got significantly outside of the bullish band. We could see this rallying up towards up the middle of the bullish band. That's a rally, give or take, at 3.3% 3, 3 to the upside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is becoming flat, still in bearish territory and underneath the signal line. Uh, RSI is turning around, still in uh, oversold, but it is becoming bearish, um, uh, bullish, sorry. And the RSI is, CCI is um, bearish and the stochastic is bearish at this point. So yes, if we have another day where we basically take out the previous highs here, then we could head towards the middle of the bullish band and probably be as far as this will go. So that would be roughly at the 200 moving average at 81. So let's look at IVB. So IVB also rallied above the 20 exponential and is heading towards the previous highs here. There's a lot of room to the upside, give or take one and a half percent. Well, until we get to the previous highs, it's also the top of the bullish band. There's a lot of room to the upside also in the RSI. MACD is still bearish, but that is becoming flat. RSI is bullish, CCI is flat, and the stochastic is turning around, still in negative territory, but it's turning around, heading towards the signal line. So we could see a lot of choppiness on Monday, but um, if we break below the 20 exponential, then we're heading back toward the 40, or probably the 50 before turning around again. So the last time we have tested these uh, moving averages, or the 50 and so on, it has been, for example, here, rally, and then broke it down again, rally, then really broke it down again, and then taken off. So it has been several times similar here where we not just have a V-shaped recovery, but we recover, pull back towards support and then rally yet again. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and uh, good weekend and good luck.